Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be talking about all of the beauty procedures that I have done. I'm going to talk about whether I liked the experience, whether I liked the results, whether I want to do it over again. I really like this type of video and I always feel like I learn so much and anytime I get one of these things done um, before doing so I'd like to do my research and I kind of like to hear what other people have to say. And earlier this week I posted a poll on Instagram asking you guys whether you wanted to see a video on kind of hair color lines or my beauty procedures and you guys picked this one so so it's here. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the probably most controversial thing on my channel, which is my lips. And I did, in fact, get my lips done um, January or February of last year for the first time, and then I have got them a little bit topped off earlier this year. Now, I think the big controversy was because I didn't mention that I had had them done, and I just kind of went on with like the next video not really talking about them, and people like went crazy. I honestly think that it was like so, so minimal. And so the reason why I didn't make a big deal about it or even mention it to begin with was because at the time I felt like everyone on YouTube was getting it done. And I always think that by saying, hey guys, look what I've done, I feel like in a way is almost advertising it. And I didn't want anyone watching to feel like you need to do this. And I got it more for like corrective reasons rather than like I want really plump lips and I've always had kind of an asymmetry with my bottom lip and it's never something that bothered me in life before but um, <laughs> filming a video every week and spending hours editing a week and looking at that it, it just annoyed me and I just figured this is something that is temporary and at first I was like I don't know that I like this I mean they are a little bit more even but I don't know if I like it and um, but the good news is that it does dissolve and like I said, not, it's not permanent. So I think after it like did start to kind of fade or kind of go away, I did miss it and that is why I did touch it up a little bit earlier this year. So at this point, I think I am happy. I wouldn't want to go any bigger than what I have going on now. Um, I think they are proportional to my face and to my features. Um, so, so far I like them and I think that I would be happy to, um, touch them up like about once a year. Okay, so the next thing is Botox and this I've been really open about. I started getting Botox, um, for my TMJ pain, which is like an unalignment kind of of the jawline. Um, so I do grind my teeth at night and it's just, it gets really painful and a couple of years ago I started getting like these terrible migraines. You know, I got everything like tested and checked out and so I'd heard that you could get Botox to help with the pain and I was like, you know what, like I mean I was just in so much pain for like so long that I was like, I, I, I will try anything at this point. And the Botox specialist was actually a previous neurologist who, rather than someone that does more like Botox like cosmetically. And sure enough, like three days later the pain was just gone. I think it's been over a year now that I've done the TMJ and the uh, migraine uh, Botox and it's it's been fine. So what I've also heard is that when you do take care of it that way, um, you actually you actually make it so that you have um, less migraines or less often. So I do have to say for anyone that does suffer from that, I know that it's not the most natural approach. But when you're paying, you literally will try anything. So if that's something you haven't explored, I would at least, you know, recommend you try it maybe once. Okay, so the next one is my cool sculpting. And honestly, I think this one is probably like one of the most exciting because this one is permanent. So what cool sculpting is, is that you are freezing the fat cells in that body area. And once they are destroyed, they're destroyed for good. So the way fat cells work is we are all born with a specific amount of fat cells in each kind of area of the body, if that makes sense. So we've all seen like women that are really thin but will still have like really wide hips or something. And our skeletons are all pretty much the same size, more or less. Um, so if someone has wider hips, that is just a bigger kind of storage of fat cells in that area. Whereas someone could, you know, be much, much heavier and have like a much straighter look. So that is definitely your genes. 
um, that play into that and um, basically determine where you're gonna have more fat cells. Um, so when you gain weight, each of those fat cells enlarge, but you will never gain or lose fat cells. Um, also, if you lose weight, again, that fat cell just gets smaller, but you never actually lose it. So basically the shape you have, whether you are 50 pounds heavier or 50 pounds thinner, um, you will technically still have that same body shape. So if you're normally top heavy or, you know, pear shape where you're more, you know, hips and very kind of like narrow shoulders. So like I said, whether you're heavier or not, um, you're still going to have that same shape. So what cool sculpting does, it, it is sculpting the body. So if you do reduce the fat cells in that area, whether you gain weight or not. But I've always felt that with kind of having bigger love handles, it always made it look like my hips were wider than they actually were and I think that it just looked very disproportional with the rest of my body shape. So then when I started hearing about cold sculpting I started seeing kind of like billboards and ads about it but I was like all right I'm sure it's like such a gimmick. I was invited the first time to just like try it out and I was like you know what I have like nothing to lose so I'm just gonna try it and sure enough like four weeks later I started seeing results so now I just feel like from my waist to kind of my hips, it's just like a lot more streamlined. And I will insert some photos here of the before and afters. Um, I was so happy with my first session that I went in and paid for my second session. So what I like about it is that it is slightly subtle results. I mean, it's not going to be like, boom, like someone sees you and they're like, whoa, you like lost 10 pounds. Like it is very subtle and it's really just like kind of softly contouring and sculpting the body. This is why it's like one of my favorite treatments because um, there is no downtime. Um, it's just slightly uncomfortable, maybe the first three to five minutes of once the applicator is placed on you. And then that area kind of just goes numb for the remainder of like the 15 or 20 minutes of the treatment. And then they just remove the applicator. They massage the area for about two minutes. That part can be a little uncomfortable because you're starting to get the feeling back. Um, but then you're done and in four to six weeks you'll get results so like I said if there is like a body part or an area that you've kind of always been uncomfortable with I think it's great that we have the option now to take care of it all right so the next treatment I'm gonna be talking about is hydrofacials and I think this is one of like probably the most underutilized beauty treatments. I wish I got facials more often. Since I've been to cosmetology school, I understand the benefits of having a facial period, but a hydrofacial, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. And I wish that I had more the correct terms on how to like really explain what it's doing. But basically a facial is really cleansing the face deeply and then kind of nourishing it and you've basically had like the best deep clean and then finished off with whatever your kind of skin is lacking. So if your skin is like drier, um, they will, you know, add something that's extremely hydrating. If you have oily skin, they will apply whatever is needed to kind of combat the oil but still hydrate the skin and so on. So I used to love getting facials done in cosmetology school. We all had to kind of do like operations on each other and the cosmetology school that I went to, we had an amazing esthetician program as well um, that worked with Dermalogica products and um, so the girls were just super knowledgeable. I mean it wasn't just like my hair colleagues that were doing facials on me. So it was really getting this like five-star experience but at school for free. And that's basically where I fell in love with facials. So then a couple of years ago, like someone recommended um, a hydrofacial and when I went and got it done for the first time, it is, it's just, it's so amazing. Like after you get it done, I mean, obviously you look all glossy and glowy because you know, you're like super hydrated and you know, you've cleansed out your pores um, like to perfection. Um, they do do extractions if you do have any breakouts. So not only does your skin in like a few days just clear up and just look its best, um, they also do this light therapy that if you do have any kind of just little scars or like acne scars or kind of like darker spots from um, like some blemish that you've had, um, that like diminishes it 
and like that's what I thought was amazing like when I came home I was like it looks like I'm wearing concealer <laughs> because your skin just not only does it look like acne free but like the discoloration or whatever I mean everything's just like so even the hydro facial the hydro part of the facial basically they're adding a ton of hydration like deep into the skin so it's not just like this topical thing that then you're gonna like wash off the next morning and then you're like back to square one so the skin ends up looking like plumper it looks like you've gotten botox done i mean like fine lines like disappear i mean it's absolutely incredible it's like of all the treatments i've mentioned today it's probably like one of the least expensive and like just incredible for your skin I'm also interested in doing kind of other skin treatments. I'm just always afraid of if there's something that like there's like more of a downtime for or anything like that. If any of you guys have had any like facial treatments that you love, um, I was here about all like these peels and stuff and I'm like really curious. So if there's something that you guys have done that you guys love, please share it down below. Um, not just for myself, but like everyone reading. Um, I think it's a great kind of way to kind of teach each other about what we like and what we've experienced. And the last procedure I'm going to be talking about is getting my boobs done. Um, I don't think I've ever addressed this on my YouTube channel. I did get them done a couple of years ago. Um, I do have to say, I think the recovery was a lot easier than I was imagining, but I don't know if it was because I was imagining just something so incredibly scary. Um, I will say that I had wanted them for a very long time. This wasn't a kind of quick decision. Um, I did a lot of research before I got them done. Um, I was already married. I used to always think like I want someone to marry me like for me and love me the way that I am and then I can get something done if both my husband and I agree. Something that's going to make me happier and more confident. And so that's what I did. I do have to say that if I were to do it again, at my age now, if I hadn't gotten them done until now, I probably wouldn't. Um, and the only reason why is I think the older you get, you do become just more confident in your own body. And not to say that I wasn't confident in my previous body, but I think when you're younger, there's like, it's all these like things that you don't have that you wish you did have. Um, but I don't know if I think that now because I have them now. A few questions like my friends have asked is like, if you were to get it done now, like would you have gone bigger? And absolutely not. Um, I think if anything, I would probably gone smaller. Um, the only kind of like negative side to it that I would say is that I, I think I try to be really like natural and holistic and I know that it's not a natural thing and it's something that I opted for cosmetically. Um, I feel like all the other things that I have done are aren't really permanent and will just kind of dissolve whereas this if I ever want to remove them I have to have actual surgery to remove them one thing that I do like is when I did get them done like nobody asked I mean from my friends to my family I mean like th there was no one that was like whoa just like it's so obvious so I, I do think I went somewhat subtle I also didn't start with nothing I mean I was a full B cup I just want it to be a really full C so that's what I am right now. I feel like right after I got them done, I was um, kind of a like a double D. And then once they kind of like settle, now I'm like a full C, which is, is technically the size that I like always wanted to be. And I do feel like the lips, I do feel that it is more proportional to my body, to my hips and to everything. Um, so, so far, yes, I am happy with them. All right guys, and that completes all of the beauty treatments that I have had done. If you guys are still here, leave me a lip emoji and thank you for being here. Uh, I know that there are millions of videos on YouTube, so I do thank you for choosing mine. If you guys still have any questions, leave them down below. All right, so I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.